Hello and welcome to DVX UI. Today what we are going to do is we are going to make this can in Figma. Now what is so special about this can? As you can see there are water droplets over this can. And how did I give it this shadow effect? Well today we are going to learn that how we can do this in Figma. So are you excited? Well I am. Now before starting let me give you a brief about this screen. Over here I have my pages and here we will have our layers currently we have only one layer which is resources let's see our resources first so these are our resources this is sprite logo which i got from google and this is can which we are going to use in our design i will also tell you how can you get yours and then we have these colors which i'm going to use and over here if you see we have this black box now the function of this black box is to say the key loud. Suppose if I'm pressing control C, then it says control C. Because of this, you will know that what shortcuts I'm using to create my design. So it will be very helpful. And on the right panel, you have design styles. Well, suppose if I draw an element over here, then I can get the styling property of this element and I can change these properties to achieve a design. Well, for now, let's remove this and get a frame for ourselves. So I will select this grid, which says frame. You can also press F on your keyboard and get a frame. And here I'm going to select MacBook Pro 16. Now, the very first thing that we need is a can. So from where we can get our can. So let's go to new tab. And here I'm going to write free pick. And here search for can now as you can see you have a lot of options of can over here you can use this one you can use this one I'm using this one so you can download it from here and if you want to remove the background you can use this remove background tool which will remove the background and you can download it from here so I guess it's clear let's go back to Figma and start designing so here on this frame, I need my can first. So let's go to resources. By the way, if you double click on this grid icon, then it will take you to the respective frame. Now from here, I'm going to select this can, copy it and paste it on our frame. Well, right now it is not aligned. So I'm going to use these alignment tools. So now it is aligned. Now, I want to increase the size of this can, but I also want to keep it at the center. So what you can do is, you can press and hold Alt, then press Shift. And by using these arrows, you can resize it on the same alignment. So this much is enough. And now I'm going to lock this picture by using this lock tool. Let's rename this can PNG. And now we need a label that we can paste on this label. For that, we need a reference. For the reference, you can go to Google and type Sprite can label. I found this one quite interesting, so I'm going to use this one only. So let's recreate this label in Figma. Now to recreate that, we need a rectangle. Now remember that I'm not using a frame, I'm using a rectangle. So I will draw it here. Let's move it till here and zoom it. Now I need the dimension of this rectangle. Now what is going to be the width? What is going to be the height? And how I'm going to decide that? Well for that what we can do is we can again go to this frame where we have our can and we can measure the height of this can. For that let's take a rectangle by pressing R on your keyboard. Draw it from here till here. Let's see if it fits perfectly. Yes, it is. From here, increase the size. Yes. So this is going to be the size of my rectangle. Basically, the height of my rectangle. So 713 is the height. So let's give it a height of 713. And width is going to be the thrice of the width of this can. So for the width, I'm again going to use the same method. Let's zoom it. 
from here as well so width is going to be 462 well here I'm going to write 462 multiplied by 4 yes you can directly perform mathematical operations in Figma hit enter and we have a long frame over here well this looks quite a long so I'm going to reduce the size let's make it 1600 yeah this is okay now let's provide a color which is going to be the primary color so this is going to be my primary color now the very first thing that we need is the logo of sprite for that let's go to resources again take this from here and paste it over here now if you see this is not a png we need to make it into a png for that what you can do is you can download this by clicking on this export then go to a website which is remove.bg and here upload the picture so now this has removed the background now let's download it go to YouTube again and drop this picture over here now if you see the color of this logo and the background is quite same so it is blending for that what you can do is you can go to this image and from here you can adjust the exposure so I'm going to increase the exposure to full and it has been converted into a white logo let's close this remove this one and now let's align this sprite for that change the angle so for the angle I'm going to take 90 increase the size and paste it in the middle so I'm just adjusting the size you can also do it okay now it's perfect let's take a text and write mini because if you can see we have this mini text written over here and you would also have noticed that they have used this horizontal logo of sprite and I'm using the vertical well it is completely fine you should also give your touch to your designs so I'm going to place it over here let's make it smaller to 196 maybe place it over here copy it multiple times and keep pasting it now I'm going to select them all and here click on the three dots from here select distribute vertical spacing so this will give it equal spacing and now from the spacing I'm going to increase this okay this is perfect now let's do some more decoration part so lemon lime the size is going to be 32 maybe 36 and the color is going to be yellow okay this is fine let's change the angle and place it right below this sprite bold looks better now we need some details over here now if you go to our reference they have a lot of things over here but we are learning things we don't need all these so to simplify this I'm going to write some random details and also going to fast forward this process So details are done I guess to make it more realistic what we can do is we can use a barcode over here so for that let's write random text let's say barcode and 
here from the outfit i'm going to change this font to barcode now search for bar and you will get these font which convert everything you write into a barcode so as you can see this has been converted into a barcode let me increase the size first uh, let's take a font size of 40 40 is quite small let's take 100 yeah so as you can see the barcode has been perfectly aligned and this is how you can also create your barcode well let's fix the alignment don't worry i'm also going to provide this label to you so that the process becomes easier for you well now our label is done let's select all of this let me first crop it so from here we can crop this image so yeah this is done now let's select all this and then we need to convert it into a component well component is a piece of element that can be reused again and again and by doing the changes to the parent component you also make changes to their child components so let's create component now it has been converted into a component let's rename this to label now let me copy this and now let's go back to our can let's remove this rectangle and now you need to grab this pen tool over here and let's start drawing i know pen tool is quite tough to learn but once you get a good grip it becomes easier to draw with the pen tool I'm just covering the portion that I need for my label so now I have created a vector now by using this bend tool I'm going to make it more aligned with my design We need to adjust the size, we need to adjust the dimension, it is all a part of designing. Well again using this pen tool, I'm going to bend this to make it more realistic. Well not this realistic. Well, I think vector is done. Now let's fill a color so that we can see it properly. And now let's remove this stroke. So this is done. Now we are going to take our label, make a copy out of it and place it over the design. Now select the vector and the label, make sure the label is properly aligned and it is on the top of this vector. So let me align it. Okay, this is perfectly aligned. Now select both vector and the label, right click and select this option which says use as mask. And now, as you can see, this has been masked to the vector that we have created just now. Well, still, it does not look that realistic. For that, what you can do is, you can go to this label, select this label, and then go to this drop icon, which says apply blend mode. Click on it and say multiply. Now, as you can see, we have got the shadows, we have got the drops over here, and this looks more realistic and now if I select the label and hold the shift key and the arrow key then I can also move it let's provide it a bit more styling 
so let's drop our image over here increase the size send it to back and let's give the opacity to 20 this is okay and you can always customize this and use it however you like for the rotation effect what you can do is you can use the prototyping method with which you can achieve rotation of the scan well for now let's give it a rest since we have achieved the goal of this video do let me know if you like this video or not in the comment section and we will meet in the next one